Eight counties now under a state of emergency today. A powerful atmospheric river dumping more than a month's worth of rain in 24 hours, and the rain is expected to keep falling. Weatherman spot on, I think. Oh, it's going to be a happy event. Originally, my intention was to find a spot that was exposed to, uh, to pitch the dipole to test out and see how it would do in the wind, but I honestly don't know if I can get it. I might just try to find a spot that's a little more sheltered. And honestly, I, I, I don't see how I can make this happen. Alright. I think I got sorry, I've so much so much water over here on the lens. The rain is crazy. I think that I I think I found a spot where I could pitch the tent uh, that's just slightly sheltered. At least hopefully I can get it up. Because the wind keeps shifting too. Um, but one thing that I noticed is that I for, I just noticed that I forgot to move uh, I got a new backpack, and I forgot to move my carabiner from my old backpack to this one. So, you know, when you're pitching in these kind of conditions, you want to hook up one of your guy lines to the backpack. That way the tent doesn't fly away. And uh, so, yeah, I'm not going to have that luxury, so to speak. <laughs> it never gets dull.
I just can't do it. Way too hard. All right, folks. Unfortunately, this is going to be a bailout for me. Oh, God. I mean, these conditions are just just too crazy. So first for me, I, I've never bailed out on a camp. But I found a spot that uh, didn't really have that much wind. And uh, as soon as I pegged out the tent the wind shifted and I was hoping that it was going to come down again and just give me a little bit of a window so that I could pitch the tent sorry I'm hearing sounds over here There's, this is there are bears around here and not mine so I am a little bit concerned anyway uh, so yeah so this is going to be a bailout for me Man, I mean, everything that could go wrong went wrong, and uh, it, it was just unbelievable. So this tent, I can usually get it pitched in about, oh, I don't know, three, four minutes, and I was honestly at it for at least 30 minutes. I just could not make it work. As soon as one side, as soon as I got one portion done, a peg would come out, the guy lines would tangle. I mean, literally everything that could go wrong went wrong over here. My hands are just frozen over. Uh, I'm completely drenched all the way through. I don't know how. I got waterproof pants. I got the gaiters. I've got uh, I've got waterproof boots, and my socks are wet. I'm drenched, and the temperatures are supposed to drop up here because I'm over here. Uh, in, a, in a higher elevation and the temps are supposed to drop into the upper 30s and I just don't want to take the risk now. I mean, just too many things went wrong. <sighs> oh, man. So, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I guess I, I'm disappointed, but I, I just don't want to take the chance, you know. Um, and, and also, I thought that at one point the tent was just going to rip. I mean, it's... It's a solid tent. Uh, it's made out of silk poly, and the quality is really good. But um, and I'm actually very impressed with it because at one point, I mean, I, I thought I thought it would rip because the wind just caught on the tent and it made like a parachute, if you will. And I, I thought something was going to rip, but no, it, it held really well. It's just that these conditions are just too crazy and uh, funny enough I'm over here by these oak trees and, and I don't feel any wind at all where I was it was on the other side over there on the other side of that little mound and there wasn't As much wind over there originally and then suddenly it shifted so the same thing could happen over here and I don't want to be camping next to any any of these trees should the winds kick up to, you know, whatever, 60 miles an hour, what have you. I don't want to branch <clears throat> like this one over here, falling down on my tent at night. Just, uh, just wouldn't be worth it. Uh, see, look at all that. I mean, look at all these widow makers here. Ah, that just wouldn't be good. You know, better, better safe than sorry. I just, I just don't want to take the risk. Uh, and, uh, and this isn't even the worst of the storm. The worst of the storm is supposed to be tonight, overnight, starting right around midnight till the morning. And it's so bad that they even canceled schools around here. 
So, uh, so this is a very, very, very strong storm. Supposedly, this is the worst storm, I think rain-wise, that California has ever seen. Sorry about the camera here, I just stuck with the water. So much moisture in the air. All right, folks. Well, anyway, uh, nevertheless, I hope you enjoyed that. It was a struggle. Um, It's just amazing how you can practice with your tent, get everything down, and, and just suddenly it all goes out the window when the right, the right conditions, or in this case the wrong conditions, uh, you know, arise. And uh, yeah, this is just one of those times, I mean, everything went wrong. All right, folks, I'll see you next adventure, my friends. Cheers.